Hello everyone. In this video, we will see about layout. Layout is the way of arranging the elements in a web page for better usage and presentability. There are many layout options available in CSS. In this video, we will see about the positioning in CSS, which is the most common and most important property in layouts. But before that, we have to learn a new HTML element. The div element. This element is used to declare a block or division in the HTML. This is very often used in CSS and JavaScript. This is the basic syntax of div element. This can have both the properties of class and ID. Let's move on to the main topic. Positioning. The positioning property specifies the type of positioning method used for an element. There are five different position values. Static, relative, absolute, fixed and sticky. Let's see them one by one with the following example. Let's take this as an example. I have created a div block with the id block. For our convenience and easy understanding, I have given the div block height and width with the background color yellow. The first positioning we are going to learn is called the static positioning. This static positioning is default value that is given to the position attribute and it does not affect in any manner for the positioning of the element. So let's go on ahead and move to the next positioning. The next position we are going to learn is the relative positioning. An element with the relative position is positioned relative to its normal position that is the change in previous elements will affect this element's position. Let's give the position as relative. The position is given with the help of three attributes top, left, and right. We can use either right or left. Normally, people will use left. In this, we just need top. We give a top value of 60 px and let's create a dummy content to see how the relative positioning works. This is the dummy content. When you want to show there is a text here, this is used. So let's see how this works. As you can see, this has a 60 pixels of space between the block and the dummy content. This is due to the top 60 value we have given. So let's add an another dummy content and see what happens. The position of the block changed relative to the element before the block. That's why this is called relative positioning. Next, let's see about absolute positioning. Change the position value into absolute. Now, if I reload the page, the block should be 60 pixels down from the top. Let's see the output. The block is 60 pixels down from the top. And uh, you can also see it's overlapping other elements. It places where the position is given. That's why absolute is used. The next position value is fixed. To show this, we will need extra numbers of this dummy content. Let's just copy this. And paste it a number of times i think that will be enough let's see the output of this the position is fixed in the page when i move the page the position doesn't change this is mainly used on advertisements and back to the top functionality the next one we are going to see is sticky it's a state between relative and fixed it has a positioning of a relative but when it reaches the top of the page, it becomes fixed. Let's drag this to this position and see what happens. Now the block is positioned right below the first dummy element. It is relatively placed in that position. Now, if I scroll down, it should stick on the top of the page. This is primarily used on navigation bars and menus. That's all for this video. Thank you and happy learning.